Hey, uh, this is the second part of my video because I didn't realize that I uh, stopped the recording before that. Okay, so let's go to question 8. Now, uh, force F is applied to an L-shaped metal rod hinge. Hinge, that means there's a pivot involved. Okay. So, that means it's dealing with moments. So, they show like F producing the greatest turning effect about P. That means they want us to find the diagram that has the greatest moment. Okay, and now, as you know, moment equals to force times perpendicular distance. Since F is the same, then therefore, if I want maximum, if I want maximum uh, moment, greatest turning effect, that means my perpendicular distance must be maximum. So, uh, I drew here already because I didn't realize I stopped the video. You have to actually draw the line of action of the force. Okay, so that's for A. That means what you do, you just take a ruler and extend the uh, force, okay, with dotted lines, okay. And for A, the pivot is here, therefore this is my perpendicular distance, so it's going to be 4 meters. For B, you will have noticed that the line of action of the force actually passes through the pivot, so the perpendicular distance is actually 0. For C, if you were to draw your line of action of the force correctly, then this will be the perpendicular distance, isn't it? And this is actually the hypotenuse, which is 4 square plus 4 square, square root. And therefore, it's going to be actually bigger than 4 meters. So, so far, C is the correct answer. But let us look at D. So, for D, you extend the line of action of the force. Okay, and then you'll find that this is the perpendicular distance to the pivot. And definitely, this is smaller than C. So, C is the correct answer. So, to uh, answer this question, you need to know how to draw your line of action of the force. From there on, then you can determine what is the perpendicular distance to the pivot. Okay, question 9. Uh, which one correctly shows the motion of the particles in a solid and a liquid? Uh, and a gas, sorry. So, for solid, it is vibrate, about fixed position. Uh, for gas, it moves freely in any direction. This is correct. Vibrate is only for solid. So, answer is C. Okay. Now, blocks of gold are made by pouring hot molten gold into molds and it cools to its melting point and begin to solidify. So there's no change in temperature, right? Because when there's a change in state, there's no change in temperature. As it solidifies, as it's changing state, its temperature will actually stay constant and energy is lost from the gold because it is cooling down. Okay, so you can actually draw a cooling down curve. And I think I say in class, uh, when it's a slope, it is one state. That means changing temperature. When it is flat, it is uh, changing states, okay, it is changing state, there are two states here, right? So when it's flat, changing state, no change in temperature, no change in temperature, okay? So you need to know your heating and cooling curve, so answer is C. Question 11, a fixed mass of gas is trapped in a container by a frictionless piston. Temperature of the gas decreases, so from there, I will know that the Ke actually decreases. So if Ke decreases, that means the speed will decrease, it moves slower. So answer is D. Okay, uh, just take note, the molecules will not become bigger or smaller. The size of the molecules is always the same. Rather, when something expands or contract, when the object expands or contract, it is the spacing between the molecules that changes, not the size of the molecules itself. Okay, a cup of hot water is allowed to cool on a cork mat at room temperature, so the cup is hotter than the surrounding. Which statement about the processes by which the cup of hot water loses energy is not correct? So we are looking for something that is false. Okay, so for A, process of uh, conduction, convection, radiation uh, operation, this is true, although in small quantities, but it is still true. Conduction through the cork mat, convection, uh, the hot air above the hot water is uh, the air above the hot water is uh, heated up and then it rises, carries away thermal energy with it. Radiation, yes, because as long as it's hotter than the surrounding, it will emit thermal radiation. Uh, loss of energy through radiation is the most effective when the temperature difference is small. This is false. Actually, it is actually opposite. The loss of energy through radiation is the most effective when temperature difference is large, right? Uh, the rate at which energy is lost via conduction is low as the cork mat is a poor thermal conductor. This is true. And the rate at which energy is lost via radiation, right? You think of color, you think of texture. So it depends on color and texture. This is true. Now, 13, what's the difference between transverse wave and longitudinal wave? 
For transverse, you think of perpendicular. Longitudinal, you think of parallel, correct? And example is your sound. So example is, for transverse is water, uh, your radio waves, okay, your light wave, okay? So sound is the only example for longitudinal wave. So with that, then answer D is the most correct answer because it's the direction of vibration, all right? For A, B, C, they can be the same, right? So that's it for this because 14 and 15 not tested. Um, so tomorrow, remember to bring your calculators and pencil and erasers, all right?